Good evening, Stitched Together friends, and welcome to Hana Christmas Vlogmas. I'm really excited that you're here to celebrate these eight days of fiber arts with me. As you may know, these videos are starting on the first night of Hanukkah and continuing throughout all eight days of that celebration. This year, the night where you light all eight candles happens on the day of Christmas. So in my house, we celebrate both holidays. We've got dual decorations going on in my home. And I thought it'd be a fun way to share some fiber art projects with you as we go through eight days of lighting candles, metaphorical candles together, and then talking a little bit about spinning, knitting, and, and weaving, and all the fun that is the fiber arts. recently finished these hand-woven dishcloths. Maybe you caught my video about that, where I talk about the process of making them. And I've got five of them here, and although some of them are gifts, I also want one of them to be a gift to one of you. So how to get into that giveaway would be to leave a comment down below and you know, say something, say hi, tell me about your, your fiber arts crafting. But also tell me that, you know, yes, you'd like to be in the giveaway. And at the end of the eight days, I will compile the names and pick someone randomly to receive one of these fun and festive holiday hand towels. They're really nice and smooshy and they're made of cotton and they can go in the washing machine and don't bleed, which is amazing in itself, perhaps, because this red is really vibrant. So anyway, yes, if, if you think you might want a dish towel, leave a comment, say hello, tell me you're interested in the giveaway, and I look forward to getting to know you over the course of these next eight days. Finally, um, every night I will be doing a little fiber arts related blessing um, with these nice wooden candles from this old toy of my children's. Not at all traditional Hanukkah blessing at all, but maybe a way of having some fun with the idea of bringing some light to the season and connecting it to this passion for the fiber arts that we share. So with that, I will, I will offer tonight's blessing and then move on to tonight's project. It's great to have you here. So our first fiber arts Hanukkah of Logmas blessing is may your ply always twist and flow. With that, let's go over to the spinning wheel and work on today's project. Turned on. Hello. I am, so I'm back and we're gonna be, I spun, I, I plied up this lovely bobbin of the yarn that was fiber that was making me think a bit of peppermint. And um, as you can see, I got put so much on there that it wouldn't fit anymore. So I have, I have almost nothing left on my bobbins, but in the spirit of finishing things up for the year, I am going to just bite the bullet and get these other two bobbins all plied up. You can even see where it was, I had to snip it off because I, it was plying, I was spinning along and plying and it just, there just was not enough space left on the bobbin. So I'm gonna wrap that around. Ooh, okay, let's, now we're off. I don't, I wonder how long it's going to take to finish this, actually. It's a very strangely spun bit of yarn. One bobbin was spun with short forward draw, inching along very precisely, and the other bobbin 
was spun, I don't know, I just started playing around with some backward straw that was sometimes short and sometimes medium and sometimes edging on towards long draw. So, I mean, this plying is, you've got sections that are, that have a nice tight twist to them and other sections that are wonky, um, which I think will be okay, but it means I may not be comfortable weaving with this yarn like I had initially thought I might. So we'll just have to see when it's done what I feel like doing with it. I'm really not sure. I'm also doing something different than that I usually ply with everything set up on this other side. But for whatever reason, I decided I wanted to ply on a different side, which is probably good for the ergonomics, but makes for things to feel kind of weird. That's okay. Oh look, one of the bobbins is already starting to be bare. See? Check it out, we've got a bare bobbin starting to show up. So that answers that question. I really didn't have very much more to go. And I probably could have squeezed it onto that other bobbin, but oh well. It wasn't worth the hassle and aggravation. getting a nice view of everything plying up over here. When I ply, I do like to run my hand along because that way I can see if there's any weird little bumps or vegetable matter. There's none in this particular bit of fiber, but... Um, and the back hand, meanwhile, is going back and kind of smoothing out the little twisty kinks. You see the twisty kinks? back there. Well, my back hand is just going through and making sure that those get all smoothed out before the twist comes into them. Yeah, this is going to be a weird yarn, but it's going to be kind of cool. I think it'll be good. I probably can weave with it, actually, if I use the right uh, reed. got some twist that is a little more more uniform some areas of twist that are you know where the more um, the more worsted spun is wrapping around the more woolen spun yarn left on this other bobbin so I will um, I'm gonna chain ply that so I get some solid color bits and if I end up weaving with this yarn it'll actually make for some really nice contrast which is something I really like to do with yarn with spinning and weaving roll that back on the bobbin I like to 
chain ply what is left over so that I get a nice contrasting yarn. And I, I know I didn't distribute this very evenly, but got some cool colors on there. Here we go. Thank you for watching this first Vlogmas video from Stitch Together Fiber Arts. I'm Emily, and it's been really a pleasure spending with you here today. I hope you'll join tomorrow for the second night of our Hanu Christmas Vlogmas. Don't forget, please, to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed tonight's video or liked the video. And remember, there's going to be a drawing for a holiday dishcloth at the end of our eight days, which conclude on Christmas Day. So if you're interested in that, please say hi down below and let me know you're interested in the dishcloth drawing. And until then, happy stitching, and I hope you are having a warm and wonderful holiday season.